today on the Rose Table, we're kicking off the most wonderful time of year at the happiest place on earth. That's right, I've got my ears on because we're heading to Disneyland Resort to check out the best Christmas treats. Let's go! First up is the famous Mickey Gingerbread, which is notoriously difficult to get as it sells out quickly. The best place to find it is in the lobby of the Grand Californian. They still had tons of them at 4 p.m. and we didn't even have to order ahead. Smell like Christmas joy. I'm so excited. Okay. Mmm, just not what I was expecting. It's super soft. Not very spicy, but like very earthy. Very earthy gingerbread with the royal icing. I don't know who needs to know this, but you can get a famous Mickey gingerbread man right here at the Grand Californian. There was almost no line. There were two people in front of us at the little coffee corner in the corner of the lobby with the tree and the big gingerbread house right there. You could also get little waffle cups with eggnog or a liqueur if you're feeling like you need a little extra Merry Christmas. <laughs> and yeah, famous gingerbread man, you do not need to order this ahead of time. We just walked up, they had tons at 4 p.m. I'm so happy I got to try the famous gingerbread Mickey. My favorite Christmas treat in the entire park is the waffle shot with eggnog at the Grand Californian. Disney makes their own eggnog and it's incredible. I got my waffle shot glass dipped in chocolate and it's absolutely perfect with the eggnog. Mm. That is fun. Holiday cheer. One can't treat is the Mickey Peppermint Mallow. It's soft and pillowy and pepperminty and everything I want in a Christmas treat. The churro toffee isn't technically a Christmas treat, but cinnamon is such a great holiday flavor that it made the cut. This is hands down one of the best treats you can get in the park. I should have brought a pound of it back home. I need to be alone with this toffee. This <laughs> lives up to the hype. Oh my god. Did you actually want some of this? <laughs> We didn't have park tickets for our arrival day since I flew in in the late afternoon. We ate treats, shopped, and dined in downtown Disney, and then headed back to the Disneyland Hotel. I'll link my room tour in the caption. You can also read a full article about Christmas at Disneyland on therosetable.com. By the way, if you're Christmas shopping, be sure to check out my magical new fairy tale line on shoptherosetable.com. The next day, we bounce out of bed bright and early to hit some rides before resuming our holiday treat tour. from the Mint Julep Bar. We took mobile order. It was ready immediately when we got off of Haunted Mansion. They're very soft. You know? It doesn't taste as mapley as it smells. It actually smells more mapley than it tastes. But I love a beignet, especially if I had like a cup of coffee to dip in. It's very soft, very glowy. And a very fun breakfast item for our walk up to Galaxy's Edge. All right, you caught me. This is not a Christmas item, but it was my first time in Galaxy's Edge and I really wanted to talk about this. We have the veggie Ronto wrap from the Ronto Roasters here at Galaxy's Edge. This is gonna be a little trickier for us to split. Everything else has been very terrible. We're just gonna have to lady in the tramp, I guess. And let's give it a try. Oh, oh. It was crunchy. It's very meaty for being like a veggie wrap. Super filling. Super flavorful. Nice toast on the grilled pita. That is delicious. Mm, great lunch item here in Galaxy Edge. It's Olga's Cantina. Next, we're heading to the Red Rose Tavern in Fantasyland to order the holiday gray stuff. But first, when you're here, I must insist that you order the loaded potato bites. This is one of the best dishes I've ever had at Disneyland, and I haven't heard a single food blogger mention it. Crispy tater tots are smothered with braised beef, luscious gravy, and creamy cheese curds, and topped with pickled onions. Are you kidding me? Hello. 
Oh my god. That is so good. This is one of my favorite things we've had here. Honestly. I mean, the cheese curds are freaking amazing. The beef is so tender. The gravy is so good. Paired with that little crunch from the tater tot. And that is a high quality snack. Oh my goodness. Mm. Next up is the holiday gray stuff, which is good, but not great. My recipe is better. It's absolutely adorable though, and kids will love it. I hate to cut into this. It's just so beautiful. But we're going to. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a little hard to eat, actually. I could use a, a knife. There we go, there we go. All right, there's a good interior shot. Ah. Holiday gray stuff which I believe is just the great stuff with holiday sprinkles, but I've never had the great stuff at Disneyland before. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, it's very light. I feel like you could always squeeze this in no matter what you've just eaten. It's very light. The red velvet cake um, is super moist, and even the cookie, the sugar cookie on the bottom is very moist. I still like the Rose Table Spray stuff better, but that's just me. You're gonna miss completely what's going on on your right. <laughs> hey, there's something you don't see every day, right? <clears throat> I do. Over and over and over. One of the best tips I can give you is to schedule a mobile order at the Jolly Holiday for the pickup window right before the parade starts. Everyone around us was so jealous that we picked up these festive Christmas treats just in time for the parade. Our parade neighbors tried to order treats, but the pickup window wasn't for another hour, so you definitely want to order these in advance. We ordered the Santa Macaron with peppermint cream and chocolate filling, the Christmas brownie, and the snowman cinnamon roll cheesecake, and I absolutely loved all three. Do you still regret it? <laughs> no, that's so fudgy. It's a lot of cream. The buttercream is intense. Mmm. I like that, actually. Mmm. It's cute. It's a cinnamon roll cheesecake. That's actually unbelievable. If you love cinnamon and cinnamon roll cheesecake, this guy's unplussed and he's adorable. It's even more delicious than it looks like it's going to be. And it looks like it's gonna be great. Mm. I love that one. This is a lot of sugar to consume all at once. <laughs> I'm glad I started here because I loved that guy. And then I loved this guy a little more. But this one, come on, this is kind of my favorite. Disneyland does macarons so well. It's got the peppermint cream, it's got the perfect chocolate ganache. I mean, this is just amazing. Perfect little parade treat. Ah! For more information about Disneyland at Christmas time, visit therosetable.com.